Welcome to part three of our six part series, Keeping Fitness Simple. And today, it's fucking leg day. So let's do this. We're gonna go over some barbell squats in a rack. Uh, a little bit of setup tips, real quick, is depending on how tall you are, you wanna have, and what is comfortable to you also, some people like to have the bar when they set up a little taller on their shoulders, some people a little lower. I prefer a little lower, a little shorter anyway. That way I can get under the bar more and have a little bit of lift off. I feel a little bit more comfortable also when you're a little lower to re-rack the bar if you're going heavy. That way you don't have to lift off of like on your tiptoes or if you're going to failure, it's really hard to get that last three inches maybe. But I start with a little lower and also if you have the bar, if you're in a squat rack, which I definitely prefer if you're going some heavy in failure, the safeties, you want the safeties a little bit to where at the bottom of your squat. They're not gonna touch. For the most part, you don't want them touching, but you definitely want them to be there in case you can fail. So you don't want them all the way at the bottom, not gonna help you that much. So if you pick up the bar, get in your squat position, come down to squat, they should be close in case you fail. You hit there, come up, and then all you gotta do to re-rack, you can just lean forward, and the thing comes back on. That's my setup tip. Barbell squats. There we go, barbell squats. At least you led that one. Barbell squats, so we're gonna do some tips with barbell squats. We wanna make sure you do these properly and safe so you don't injure yourself, okay? There's a lot to cover in barbells. There's a lot of different ways, a lot of different form tips, a lot of different just coverage of how it works. So we're just gonna go over the basics real quick. I'm not gonna dive too deep into mechanics or the science behind it or any of that. Just help you with form and get better results for yourself, okay? So Kate here is gonna do it. So what we wanna do is her setup is, she likes it about a little bit shoulder height for her. That's good. Go ahead and get under the bar. Now when you get under the bar, you have the option to put the bar higher up on your shoulders or a little bit lower back on your traps. So what this will do, if you're training for hypertrophy, which is muscle building, we want to put the bar up a little bit higher where it's comfortable. Make sure you have a good grip, lock down. You want to pull the bar into you and engage your lats. That way it's nice and secure. And then you lift the bar up. Now one trick, you take a little step back, a little bit more. Right there, you wanna stay inside your safeties, but you don't wanna step all the way out. If you step all the way out, then if you fail for some reason, something happens, you have no safeties to catch you. So you don't need to come five steps out, just one or two, just make sure your barbell does not catch on the way up. And Kate's ready now, I'm sure. <laughs> so, Kate, you wanna make sure that your foot position is about shoulder width apart. It's a very good starting point. You can move them out and put them closer to see what works best for you because you really want to target the quads. All right, Kate, go ahead. Nice, slow, and controlled. You don't bounce. You want to keep tension on the quads throughout the movement, and you definitely want to keep your spine straight. Now, if you notice, range of motion, it's going to be different for everybody, okay? You want to try to get as low as you possibly can while keeping good form and not tucking your butt under and putting too much pressure on your spine, your lower spine. Kate has longer limbs, so her natural range of motion is a little bit shorter than mine because I have shorter limbs. We'll go over that in a second. Do a couple reps, but you definitely with legs want to train to, you want to train to as close to failure as you can. I would say anywhere between the six to 12 reps. If you can get more, get more, but add that weight and push the legs. It's the only way they're really going to grow. Don't be a bitch. Just to give you an idea of the difference and the range of motion between people, Chris is going to do a squat and he's going to show you just how deeper he can get than me. You can see that his butt goes all the way down, that his calves are actually touching the backs of his hamstrings, which I am not able to do because if I did, I would fall over. You wanna make sure that you don't 
tuck your butt under when you go down because sometimes when you go too low, you'll have a tendency to curve your glutes under and you don't want to do that. that could affect your back and we obviously want to prevent any kind of injury. Are you done showing off? If you have the option to use a machine for leg training like a hack squat, V squat, and this is a pendulum machine, they are great to take the weight off your lower back if you have a sensitive lower back. They're also good to control the movements and you can push a little bit harder to failure in a safer manner uh, rather than being under a barbell. So Kate's gonna demonstrate also the range of motion you can get out of a machine versus the barbell in a safe manner. So you get in with this machine with the pendulum, you put your feet about shoulder width apart again. You put them a little, Kate's gonna have to put them a little higher because of her long, very long legs. And the pad, put your, keep your lower back hard up on the pad throughout the movement, and that'll take all that pressure off of your upper and lower sp spine. And you lift off, push, unhinge the hook, and then you slowly control it all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Now you can definitely see how low Kate can get here compared to the barbell she was doing earlier. This will get more contraction on the quads and hit the quads harder. Now you push up slow, a couple more. And you, the big thing is you want to control it all the way down, nice and slow through that negative. That is what will really build the quads up, the control. You don't want to bounce off the bottom, give it a second and blast up and push. And there you go. If you guys have a machine or a pendulum, they're awesome, try it. Thank you, Aveth Fit. <laughs> all right, so Case can show you some Bad form, some stuff you're not supposed to do. I'll wind it because I just some leg extensions. Number one is going way too light. So the thing flies off your feet, the pad. You do not want the pad to ever leave your feet. You don't want to move too fast. Again, really, really good form and really hard contraction with slow movement. This is the proper way. Number one, get set up. One thing you really want to do, Make sure when you're setting up that your knees should follow the hinge. They should be lined up. You don't want your knees way over. It puts way too much tension on your knees. Also, if you find it pulls back, try to set it up to where the pad is a little farther out. But if your knees are good, push for it. Grab the, make sure the back of the seat and your back are really, really close and always hitting that. You don't want that to come off, okay? Yeah, you don't want to be like that. You want to be nice and then grab the handles and pray, bring yourself into it, into the seat and hold yourself down. Go ahead, nice slow controlled movement like that with a nice hard squeeze up top. As soon as you get to the top, you squeeze and then you slowly let it down. Hard, squeeze, squeeze. You want to get all that tension in the quads. That hard squeeze will definitely uh, make the difference in building up your quads. And that's also what makes it hurt. Two more, two more. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. There we go. Look at you. You're a champ. Cool. Kate's gonna demonstrate the lying leg curl machine. Um, first, I'm sure. <laughs> Sure, she's gonna show us not what not to do here. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to swing and just there you kick and don't hurt yourself, Kate. Okay? Don't hurt yourself. So you don't want to kick and you never want the pad to come off your feet or off the back of your calves or back of your legs wherever you're comfortable, okay? And you don't want to go way too heavy and only get a little partial motion. It's very important that we get a really tight squeeze on the hamstrings. We really want to get that hard tight squeeze with control. All right, calm, calm down, calm down. Okay, now this is the right way. Which the number one thing you want to do is you want to scoot up a little bit. There you go. You want to make sure that you have a good brace between your knee and the pad here. You don't want a lot of room. It'll put a lot of tension on the back of your knee and can cause knee soreness. Make sure the pad is in a comfortable position. As far as feet placement, fine. You want to keep your toes straight throughout the whole movement. That is the big thing we want to focus on. We don't want your toes flaring all over the place, pointing up and down. Keep them straight control them. There you go. And make sure they're driving force throughout the movement. We move up. You want to keep your stomach on the pad nice and hard throughout the whole thin time. There are grips on here. Grip and pull yourself into the pad throughout the whole movement. Pick a weight you can control. Start there. Move up. Move up. 8, 12, 15 reps. Give us a good rep. Nice and slow. 
slower. There you go. And slowly control that negative all the way down and up. Drive it and squeeze all the way up. Notice how she's going all the way to the top. It's nice and slow. Bring it up again. Bring it up again. And slow. Slow. Control it on the way down. As you go, these get harder and harder, but controlling it is the most important part through the last couple reps when you're fighting. That's when you really grow the muscle. Good job, Kate. Look at that. So this is going to be Romanian deadlifts with a free bar. So the difference between Romanians and, and regular conventional deadlifts is we're going to start from the top and we're going to control the negative down. We want to put a good stretch on the glutes and the hamstrings. Okay, so Kate's going to demonstrate. Also, you'll notice that Kate is now safetyed up with her little belt, her gloves, and her straps. These are all great tools. If you need them, this will help you prevent injury to your back while it keeps all your abdomen and all your core nice and tight and stable. And the straps are also so you don't have to worry about your grip giving out if you're working in 8 to 12 reps and the weight is heavy, you don't have to worry about your grip giving out so much. And gloves, because she has beautiful hands. She wants to keep them that way. <laughs> so she'll put her straps on. She's going to get set up. You want to have your about, with a comfortable grip, I would say, is probably a little bit more than hip width. That's where you would keep them. Now you want to grab the bar. Straps, lift up, stay step one, two steps back just so you're out of the safeties. Put your head up, chest up nice and tall. You can tuck your chin in if it feels comfortable a little bit. And you want to slowly start lowering the bar. And what you do is you hinge out your glutes, hinge out your butt. Bring the bar as low as comfortable and get a nice good stretch right here on the hamstrings and right on the glutes is where you should feel it. But you want to keep your core and everything locked super tight, especially if you're going heavy weight. But you definitely want to control the weight slow on a negative to get the hamstrings in okay great form Kate one more one more one more one more one more ah oh, there you go and then re-rack that's why you don't want to step out really far from the rack because you want to be able to re-rack it if it's fine the cool thing about Romanians or deadlifts if you do fail you just drop the bar and you're fine but be safe doing this but it's a great exercise a marker okay so we need to have markers am I supposed to stand like here and you stay there so it looks taller no? That's, it, yeah. That's not a thing? I thought that was perceptive. It is a thing. Just Tom Cruise. That's how we shoot all Tom Cruise movies. Because I'm 5'2". Come on. Oh, man. Who's bound to walk alone? This is a song. It's it it fucking terrible. All right. From Squat Machine, we can use all the... Blah, 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 blah. Machines are good for what? All right. Have a seat. You got to talk about all the ways that I am not supposed to sit on the machine. All the negatives. Yeah, just do that too. Good call. How do you do that? Get on there. Show me some stuff. You look nice. Thank you. You take your head. So you got to do it. Welcome to our... Wait. Welcome to our... Okay. Nope. You can climb on top of this like Tawny could take. <laughs> Who came up with that? Just throw your hair around. I don't know. Whoever was a genius. Genius. The 80s were a different world, man. The 80s were a different world. So let's do this. 